friends we are going to cover two more cases on binomial distribution and i have selected these two cases particularly for the examinations with mcqs say objective type of questions let us take the first one the question given is for a binomial distribution the mean is 7 and the variance is 11 comment we just have to give our comment about this statement that means we require to check whether this statement is true or not now mean is 7 and variance is 11 and the distribution is binomial if we take the reference of properties of binomial distribution one of the properties is the mean of binomial distribution is always greater than its variance. Theoretically, it is also said that mean is greater than or equal to its variance. But practically, the mean can never be equal to the variance in case of a binomial distribution. So, the reference of the property says that this statement is not true. Now, friends, many times it happens that particularly at the time of facing any examination most of the student when they try to attempt this type of practical question they forget the theoretical points so for some of you it can happen that at the time of attempting such type of question you forget the property of binomial distribution or this particular property of binomial distribution now for them I suggest one more technique to arrive at any conclusion about this statement in case of binomial distribution we know that mean equals to np that is given to be 7 and variance is npq that is given to be 11 on the basis of these two terms we can say that we are say on the verge of finding q or the probability of failure or the probability of non-happening of the desired event now what will be the process of finding q that will be nothing it will be npq divided by np we can say that cancel np and np so there is q only but if we use the numerical values npq divided by np that gives us 11 by 7 and that is greater than 1 and we know that like pq is also a probability of non-happening of any event and since it is a probability it can never be greater than 1 so the statement is not true now another case is the mean and variance of a binomial distribution are 15 and 6 respectively find the value of n p and q now we know that for a binomial distribution mean equals to n p and that is given to be 15 and variance equals to npq that's given to be 6 like this case first we can find q npq divided by np that means variance divided by mean that is 6 by 15 that is 2 by 5 now we know that p plus q equals to 1 that means probability of happening of any event plus probability of non-happening of that event the summation is 1 that means p equals to 1 minus q in this case it is 1 minus 2 by 5 so p comes to 3 by 5 so now out of 3 we have found 2 answers p and q 
and now we require to find out n that is number of trials in case of a binomial distribution. Again we know that mean or say np equals to 50. Now we can send that n into 3 by 5 equals to 50. So n will be 15 into 5 by 3. Okay. Now cancel 3 with 15 by 5. So now we have n or say number of trials of this particular binomial case are 25. So in this way we can use the information about mean and variance to find out the various parameters of the binomial distribution. I repeat. These two cases I suggest for the examinations covering MCQs. Okay, thank you.